Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to look into um, your situation, whatever the cards want to say. What your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, just whatever story wants to come out here. The last reading I did, I was getting that you guys are leveling up very quickly. All the hard work you've been doing is about to finally pay off. This is regards to, to love, to money, to career, probably multiple areas in your life. Um, 2021 is going to be a really big year for you. You've been working on manifesting these things, and I think they're... I think you've wrapped up some karmic lessons. I keep getting that energy a lot for actually multiple signs. But I feel like you've wrapped up a lot of um, karmic lessons. You know, you got off that merry-go-round with either with a person, with a situation that you, like maybe some kind of pattern that you might be repeating. But it seems like you finally cut that energy away and, and you're freeing yourself. So I feel like 2021 is, is going to be, it's finally going to be your year. <laughs> Sex, seduction, passion, romance, okay. Dreams, visions, telepathy. So it seems like a very passionate connection that we have here. I'm going to see if it's his ex or a new person. But sex, seduction, passion, romance, dreams, visions, telepathic communication. We've got a lot of good energy. Ooh, love offer, commitment. Lots of good energy here. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Okay. Sadness. Hmm. What is that about? A sense of belonging, home, safe space. Domination, control. It's an interesting energy we got here. <laughs> Clubs, parties, social life. Pause, reflection, rest. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. What I'm getting from this energy is that someone is coming back around, it feels like, but it kind of gives, I kind of get the sense that this person does have a habit of taking you for granted, or this, the, the energy could be reversed. It could be you have a habit of taking them for granted, or they have a habit of taking you for granted. Um, it just feels like you've been manifesting this, and it's that same warning that I was getting before in the last spread that I did for you guys, where I was feeling like someone, either you or them, someone needs to not be too hasty when this comes in. Someone needs to balance, get in that temperance energy and kind of take things slowly, because it seems like I just get the energy of like really unexpected change, but this has either just happened or there's a risk of this happening. It feels like just don't give in to the passion too much. We have sex, seduction, passion, romance, you know, dreams, visions, telepathy, like having dreams about each other, uh, telepathic communication. Like this is all these, these three cards appear. It's just a very passionate, very romantic energy, which is good, but it's kind of saying to balance, you know, also, you know, balance that emotion with logic at the same time. Because I feel like if you... If someone moves too quickly, it's it's going to backfire is kind of what I'm getting here. That this, you know, there is a love offer. There is some kind of commitment coming in. But it just feels like, just feels like it's like something is really off balance here. And it needs to be balanced out for this to work out. Like, let's say you're doing reconciliation magic on this person, for example. Which this is, you know, this is a common thing I've seen with people that do reconciliation magic is sometimes you you do the, the you know, you put the intentions into the universe, um, whether it's through magic or just, you know, just using your intentions, whatever it might be. You're, you're putting that energy out into the universe of manifesting a specific person back. But then it's like when they message you, you get too excited and you like, you know, tell them your life story practically and then they pull away from you again. You know what I mean? It's like, it, 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 it's just too rushed. You have to stay in your power. You have to just stay strong, stay firm, don't move. You know what I mean? Because it's like, otherwise, it's this whole energy dynamic where it's like back and forth, where it's like one person's always chasing, one person's pulling away. It just feels like that kind of energy. And there's like, there is a lot of passion. There is a lot of mutual love here, but something just needs to be balanced out. 
Um, so it's like if you're doing the reconciliation work and they message you, you know, just don't don't smother them. Don't get too excited. Just kind of, you know, keep your cool. Just, you know, keep them coming back to you. Um, keep that ball in your court. Because it kind of seems like that passion and love is there. And like this person might want to make a love offer here. And they're choosing love over fear. Bold gesture, choosing, you know, risk reward. But then it's like there's like this sadness and like this feeling of home, which I kind of see as like moving someone moving too quickly, too hastily. And it's, I mean, I think a big part of the reason why it's backfiring is because it's domination and control. It's not, it might not even be that this person, it might not even be that your person like wants what they can't have. I mean, that could be it. It could be like, you know, they've, they're they feeling smothered, but it could just be the energy of control. Like they might be, they might come back around and they might kind of feel like you're, like just like a controlled energy. Like you're you're really trying so hard to keep them. Or this could also be them. I mean, this could be them and they're they're wanting to come back around and give you this love offer and they're they've been sad and they want to come back home and they are kind of in this dominant controlling energy where they want to keep you. They want to do whatever they can to keep you. They don't want to let you get away again. You know, they just want you guys to be at home together and you're gonna want to be a free spirit and go out and do your own thing. And then someone's going to have to pause and reflect and rest and like, you know, rethink this, you know, kind of not being on the same page with each other. Um, this does feel like someone from your past coming around, though. So that's one story. So I, I'm seeing two stories here. So, yeah, for some of you, this is this, you know, is the other person that's that's, you know, wanting to control this, that's wanting to hold on to you tightly because they've they've missed you. They've been sad. And when they come in, they're not going to ever want, want to let you go again. And it's, it might feel great at first, but then at some point you're going to feel like they're not letting you, like, have fun. They're not letting you go out. Like, they're not letting you be, like, be your free-spirited self. And so this could kind of be a warning, too, if this was a relationship. If this was, like, a relationship that you might be um, romanticizing now, like, maybe this person was kind of controlling. Like, they didn't let you go out with your friends or, like, they didn't let you... Um, be your true self, like, you know, because we got clubs, party, social life, like this woman or this man just wants to, they want to have fun, they want to live their life, they want to do what they want to do, and this other person's kind of, someone here is trying to control and dominate the relationship or dominate them, you know what I mean? And it's interesting, I think it might actually be the same woman on both these pictures, <laughs> um, but it's kind of like saying if you're idolizing a relationship where you were being controlled and manipulated and gaslit, then you need to stop idolizing it and work on letting this go instead. That'd be best for you because this could be a karmic cycle that's trying to complete. You know, some of you are like idolizing this relationship where it was like, you know, you miss, like you're sad, you miss having them there. But like when they, when you guys are together, it's like they control you. They don't let you have fun. They don't let you be yourself. So it's like maybe instead of, I mean, the grass is always greener on the other side. So if that is the situation, maybe it's like you need to step back and you need to think about this. Again, there's two stories here. So I'm going to tell this one first and then tell, tell the second one after I do this one really quick. Um, so like maybe instead of, you know, because it's like when someone leaves you or there's like a breakup or something, it's like it hurts so much that you're just like you romanticize it, you idolize it. You can't really like you're not thinking about all the negative times, too. You're just thinking like I like I'm at home alone. I just want to I want them here cuddling with me. I miss them. But like think about how much they controlled you when they were there. Think about how you couldn't speak your mind with them. You couldn't go out and have fun with them. You had to you know what I mean? Like how they controlled you, how they they kind of put a leash on you like you're a free spirit. So I think you need someone who's just as free spirited as you. So it's kind of just like a warning here, like. Yes, it might have been passionate and great, but maybe you should pause and reflect and rest and really think about this. Like, do you really want this back or do you just want it back because of the loneliness and because you guys have a history together and because, you know, the grass is greener on the other side? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Like, is this, are you really being honest with yourself? Is this honestly still right for you? Is, or is this possibly a karmic cycle that needs to be wrapped up now? So that's one story. Um, you might be getting a warning. So for the other group, I feel, so again, again, two different energy groups here that are watching this. So for the other group, I feel that, um, I feel, I feel that this is actually you being the controlling one. And this person is, is, you know, maybe coming in. I think you've been manifesting them, maybe doing magic or putting intention, like just really wanting this person back. There's a very passionate romantic energy in this for both these groups. Um, so maybe even putting all this energy into them, you know, making a move 
but it, it almost feels like maybe when they come in, you might overwhelm them a little bit. Like you might, like you've been missing them so much that it's like you might kind of cling to them a little bit and it might make them pull back. It might make, you know what I mean? It's like you have to, with reconciliation magic, it's like you have to stay in your power. You have to keep manifesting them back. You can't just like get super excited as soon as they finally reach out physically and like, you know, tell them how much you miss them because then it's like you're back to square one. So if that's if that's your story, get off that roller coaster. If you're going to do reconciliation magic, you got to stay in your power and keep having them come to you. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Otherwise, you're just going to keep going back and forth. You know, it's like this chaser, chasey power struggle kind of game that you need to to get off that merry-go-round. Um, and it, and so it's like, and this person might feel controlled. Someone feels controlled. I just don't know if it's you or them, but someone here is like trying to be dominant and trying to be controlling. And if it's you trying to control the situation, like trying to like make sure you never lose this person again, your that energy is actually what's going to push them away because this person's a free spirit and they're going to be like, no, I'm not doing that. And they're going to be the one that pause, that pauses and reflects and rests and thinks, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. Like I need, I need more freedom. I need someone who's going to let me do my thing. Like, so this is either you either you're the free spirited one and you need someone that's going to let you do their thing. And this other person's trying to control you or vice versa. But whatever the energy is, it's almost like someone either has, or they're about to end up pausing, whether it's you or them, someone needs to, or is going to pause and reflect and rest and be like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> and I think that was that warning I was getting before too. I was getting that energy of like, okay, someone's going to be hasty and you guys got to not either you or them. Someone needs to not be hasty. They need to find a balance. Um, if this is your reading and you want me to go in depth into it, like look into, you know, what your person's feeling, thinking, wanting, whatever details you want to know, my email address is right below in the description box, right below this video. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste my email. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Again, right below this video, you can just copy and paste it. Um, if, and if it resonates, please subscribe and any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My um, donation links are below too, so I thank you guys for that. Willpower, strength, confidence, beauty, mystery, enchantment, divine intervention, synchronicity. Yeah, it's kind of like, for those that are doing reconciliation work, it's like, you got to stay in this, your willpower, your strength, your confidence, like this, you know, the mystery, the enchantment, the beauty, it's like someone again whether there's just this energy of control so whether there's and this seems like probably some, well yeah i guess it would be someone from your past if you guys have this this history this is someone from your past wanting to come back around but just whoever is controlling it whether it's you controlling it or whether it's the other person controlling it that if you guys again it might not be you it might be the other person but whoever is doing it that control is going to backfire so if this is the other person, then like I said, it's saying, you know, maybe, maybe wrap this karmic cycle up. Maybe this, maybe, you know, consider that maybe you're idolizing it and romanticizing it because, you know, absence makes the heart go fonder. Maybe you need to pause and think about this. Um, and if this is you being the controlling dominant one, it's kind of saying like, you know what, you're going to have to take a step back. Otherwise this person is going to be like, oh, hell no, I want my freedom nuh -uh, and they're going to go their own way. Like, this is not someone that's going to stop hanging out with their friends for you. This is not someone that's going to, like, this is not someone that's going to stop. If they party, like, if they like to go out and drink and party, they're not going to stop doing that for you. Um, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just telling you what the energy is, you know? Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> um, or if this is someone, like, that has, like, you know, friends like female friends or male friends and you don't like that like they're they're gonna keep do they're gonna keep doing whatever they do they're not gonna they're not gonna change for you basically is either you're not gonna change for them like i said it could be either way however whatever energy you're in but someone's not gonna change for someone else someone is someone here is saying like no i'm a free spirit i'm gonna have fun maybe party as well like i'm gonna go out i'm gonna do my thing like you're not gonna control me and so it's kind of saying like if this is the person you're trying to manifest back it's like you're you know, is, is this going to be okay with you? Like, are you going to be okay with them in this energy? There might be like, you gotta, I think you need to, even if, even if you are the one that's in this dominant controlling energy, you still need to stop and pause and reflect and rest and meditate on this and think like, is this okay with you though? 
Like, let's say someone in this relationship, and this isn't for everyone. I mean, this is this is for the energy group, but I mean, there might be different variations of the story to some degree. But like, let's say, for example, they drink or they smoke a lot and you don't do those things. Maybe maybe you're like a recovering alcoholic or something like, is this a deal breaker for you? Because you're, you're not, whatever, whoever this is, whether this is you or them, I'm getting that this person is not going to change for anyone. Like, they're, like, look at, look at how she is. She's just like, he or she is just like, this is, oh, you can't even see it, sorry. <laughs> they're just like, look, uh, this is how I am, take it or leave it. Like, they're very, like, confident, very just kind of set in their ways, kind of doing their own thing. So, it might be saying, like, if you love this person and miss this person, and you're trying to so hard to manifest them back... Yes, you you probably are manifesting them back now, but do you want it? Like, are you ignoring incompatibilities? Are you ignoring personality differences that might not work out for you two in the long term? You know what I mean? Because I think some of you are trying to manifest this person back and they might have like some kind of addiction or they have like, like they're an extrovert, you're an introvert or vice versa. Um, one person likes staying at home, one person likes going out, like that kind of energy, just like personality differences could be like religious differences, like political differences and I think some of you are honestly like manifesting this person back and thinking like this is like you're just set on it like you're just like this is my true love like we're we're gonna compromise like I'm gonna like you think you're gonna change them or you think that they're gonna like compromise with you on this stuff and honestly I don't think they are they're going to from what the cards are saying they're they're not going to they're they're gonna they're gonna come back around but they're pretty much just gonna be like this is who I am take it or leave it like my political differences are my political beliefs are staying the same my religious beliefs are staying the same I'm gonna keep partying if I'm partying I'm gonna keep doing what I do like whatever it might be that like irritated you about them it's like they're they're gonna they're not wanting to change those things about themselves. They're not seeing it as like a problem, you know what I mean? Or they're, or they're so deep in it that they're currently not seeing it as a problem. So it could be like an addiction or something where it's like, they're so deep in the addiction at the moment that maybe their soul knows it's a problem, but they're not willing to change it at the moment because they're so in it, you know what I mean? Because I'm just not getting the energy of someone that's like open to changing, just in this current energy though. So this story could always change. I mean... You never know. Like, it, it could change. I don't know. Because this is we, psychics always go off energy. So we just go off what's currently going on. Like, what the person is currently in this in this moment, in this current energy, what they're feeling, thinking, wanting. Like, what the, the relationship is like right now. Um, but, yeah, I think that you need to really reflect on this and really think about the differences and think about those things. Like, are those deal breakers? Because, like I said, some of you are thinking, like, okay, this is my true love. I'm manifesting them back. But you're like ignoring the red flags and you're ignoring the things about them that you didn't like. And you're ignoring the fact that there were things about you that they didn't like. You know what I mean? Like you're just thinking, well, whatever, like I just need them back. Like we'll compromise when we get there. Like, you know, I just I just miss this person. I just want them back. Like when they come back, we'll 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 figure it out. Maybe we'll come to some conclusion. And it's like, no, they're going to keep whatever they're doing like they they feel they, this, this energy feels confident. You know what I mean? This doesn't feel like someone who's like wanting to change. This feels like someone who's like, yeah, I party, but I love partying. I'm an extrovert. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like someone who's open to making a whole lot of compromises. Cause I think the thing that you're wanting to change about them is something that they actually like about themselves, or it's an energy that they're currently so deep in that they can't, they don't want to get out of it right now. Like an addiction, you know what I mean? So, so I think that you really need to decide like, okay, yeah, you can manifest this love offer, but do you genuinely want it or do you just not want to be alone? Like, are you just getting stuck in this energy because you're, because it's familiar, because you guys have a history, like, because you're feeling lonely, sad, and you just, you want someone there. And this is like, you know, you're, you're getting lost in that romantic kind of energy. And it's like, you need to kind of pull yourself out and be logical and be honest with yourself you really, I know you guys hate readings like this. <laughs> these readings, these readings always get so much hate because people do not want to hear it. I understand. <laughs> uh huh. I hate giving readings like this too because I'm like, I know this reading is going to get hated on. <laughs> like, no doubt. Because um, no one wants to hear this. No one wants, you know what I mean? Like, people, want, people don't want to hear this stuff usually. But, but yeah, that's what the cards are saying. So I got to be honest with you guys, you know? It's like... I mean, you might be in so much pain and you're in this romantic energy. It's like you need to maybe do something on a crossing and healing work and just step back. You really, this is the energy that's coming through strong is that you, someone needs to be in this energy. Someone needs to pause, you know, usually I'm all forgiving into your heart, but in this, in this, per, in this particular reading, I'm not 
feeling the energy of, of you, that you should give into your heart. Cause I feel like there's, I feel like this could be a karmic relationship or this could be something that's like, there's just too many differences. There's just, you know what I mean? Like there might be love there underlying it all, but there might be things that are just deal breakers, like political or religious difference or, or just major personality differences that, you know, might cause arguments, miscommunication. And it's like the love is there. So you guys are like kind of wanting to like just ignore those things. Like, like we'll figure it out when we come to it. But it's like, well, if you guys didn't figure it out before, though, why would you figure it out now? Like, what would be the difference? You know what I mean? Like, why would this energy suddenly change, basically, is what I'm saying. Like, why would, you know what I mean? Um, and it doesn't mean, like, this is your life. It's up to you. I mean, it does look like you can manifest this person back. It, it does look like there's the potential there for that. But it's like you might get sucked into the same energy because I feel it. Like I said, I feel like some of you are manifesting this back thinking like like you're willing to change. You're willing to do the work and you're thinking, oh, I bet they will be, too. But like some of them are going to be like, dude, no, like I love partying or I love like I'm true to my political beliefs. Like, sorry, I'm not going to change that for you. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're thinking like, oh, we'll compromise. We'll figure it out. Like, we'll we'll get to that when we get to it. We'll we'll figure it out together. And, and this person's like no, we won't like, like you, you can have me back, but you're going to have to take me just as I am. And that's, that's gonna, I think that's going to leave you feeling kind of lonely. Like you're gonna, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're so, you're missing them so much and you want them back so much, but when they're actually like there and you're back in that relationship, I feel, I feel like there's a potential, a big potential for that, that same energy to repeat itself. You know what I mean? Like the arguments or miscommunication or just personality differences where it's like, you're going to be like, like, oh, crap, like, I should have, I shouldn't have been so hasty. I shouldn't have rushed this. Maybe I should have stepped back, thought about this, um, like, reflected on this. Like, do I really want this? And it could be that, you know, because I was saying in the, in the last reading that your hard work is going to finally pay off regarding love, money, pretty much everything you could want. And you know, it could totally be that this is a different per. I mean, okay, so this is your energy group. Like if you're a Taurus and you're watching these videos consistently over the months and this is your story, like this is, I mean, this, this would be your energy group that you're in, but it's totally possible that this is a different X that I'm channeling. I hope that makes sense. So like last week I was getting, you know, someone's coming back around, but this could be a second person coming back around. You could have more than one X coming back around. So you could have an X that's kind of like, because what that, then that happens. That happens like with reconciliation magic. And if you're like putting all this energy into the universe of manifesting love, like you might, you know, you might have these exes hitting you up out of nowhere. Like you wake up and you got a message from, in your inbox on Facebook or something from an ex. And you're like, what? <laughs> you're like, I wasn't even trying to manifest you back. But it, it's like, well, it just kind of happens because your heart chakra is open and you're like sending out these signals to the universe. You're like, just bring love in. So it's like anyone who's open to love, like with you, like that, you know, that, that kind of, that they usually happens. I mean, I'm sure that maybe, the, maybe there's witches that can find a way around that. I never have, like whenever I do love drawing magic, I mean, it seems like sometimes people that I don't even want will hit me up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, might be that energy where it's like, you might have like another ex that like you're missing, but it's kind of over with them. But then there's also someone else coming back, coming around or new people. I mean, I think that, I think you might have more than one. Let me ask the pendulum. I think, do you guys have, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm getting a strong yes. You guys have more than one option. So this might not be the same X that I, it might be a different X that I channeled a couple of weeks ago. And this is a different, yet a different X coming back around. So lots of, Lots of interesting energy here. Anyway, if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into it, just send me an email. Um, it, like I said, it's below in the description box, right below this video. Uh, please subscribe and any donations are appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching.